In a bid to curb cases of electoral violence and malpractices, the National Human Rights Commission has published the names of Nigerians who have been indicted by tribunals and law courts across the country for various forms of electoral malpractices. These persons include a former governor of Delta State, Dr. Emmanuel Udwa, former governor of Edo State, Professor Osa Osumbo, a former acting governor of Kogi State, Clarence Obafemi, a former lawmaker from Ekiti State, Senator Ayo Arise, and a former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Morris Iwu. Others indicted by the report include the Independent National Electoral Commission and its officials in Anambra, Ebonyi, Delta, Katina, Kogi, and River States, the Appeal Court, Election Petition Tribunals, and political parties such as the People's Democratic Party, the defunct All Nigerian People's Party, and the Action Congress of Nigeria. The Executive Secretary of the National Human Rights Commission says those indicted should be prosecuted to serve as a deterrent to others. This report altogether contained 118 indictments. We are going to make that list public and we are also going to forward the list of persons to be prosecuted to the Attorney General of the Federation and there are also some persons from institutions that have been indicted for committing administrative misconducts. The chairman of the technical working committee which carried out the review of the elections gives a breakdown of those indicted by the various electoral tribunals across the country. Criminal stroke administrative indictments were 49 in number. Administrative indictments were 38 in, in number. Then administrative stroke judicial indictments were four. Provisional indictments, even lawyers. We found that lawyers were also um, susceptible to some electoral misconduct or violations of electoral law. And there were three in number and also judicial in, uh, indictments were seven in number. A national commissioner in the Independent National Electoral Commission advocates an electoral offences court as a solution to the menace. So this comes to inform what we've been saying for a very, very long time and which we believe is due and overdue is the issue of this election, uh, election offences tribunal. It's been about five different bodies, including the Ways panel, have made this recommendation. Nigerians are waiting to see what the government will make of this report by the National Human Rights Commission and its recommendations. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.